Imagine you start an IV, you get blood return, and the first thing you do, instead of putting an extender, you put the tubing. Why would you do that? Welcome back to my channel, it's Cass. Today we're gonna to be doing a nursing related video. I know I look quite fabulous right now. I was gonna put on scrubs today, but I ended up filming like fashion videos. So I still wanna give y'all the content. So I'm going to be showing you guys what is in my nursing fanny pack. I get roasted all the time by my patients when I wear this. But before we get started, if this is your first time here, please take a moment to hit the subscribe button, tippity tap the bell, that way you're able to get notifications. Also, drop me a comment down below just to say hey, and also give me a thumbs up. If you're returning, thanks so much for coming back this week. So this is my brand new. As you can see, she's very cute. I love fanny packs for work. This is not my first time using one. I actually was going to get like my traditional fanny pack that I used in nursing school for my practicum because it starts to become too much. You know, like you go into a patient's room, you need some flushes, you need some syringes, you need alcohol pads, you need the cure rose caps, and your pockets can only hold so much before they start taking you down with them literally pants falling okay so i was destined to have a fanny pack at work regardless this one was a gift from one of my preceptees and she changed my life when she gave this to me like i don't think she knew that she changed my life because i was like on the verge of dusting off my old nursing school fanny pack and bringing it out this one is just much more practical if you use a fanny pack and you're considering like mm, do i really need it my fanny pack is doing really good you may want to upgrade okay and i'll tell you why it's just more easily accessible like your things obviously i don't have flushes and stuff in it right now because those things are at work but i do have like a lot of pens and stuff to kind of show you guys what the pockets look like and that way you can kind of see what you can put in here I am a hoarder, so I have 7.5 million pens and markers in mine, which I don't need. I need to clear this out. But for the purpose of the video, I'm going to leave it in so that way you can kind of see how many compartments you have. I think one of my favorite things about this, because another thing that I tend to forget all the time is tape. And it's something that you don't think you'll need unless you're like doing an IV dressing change or blah, blah, blah. But then you go into the patient's room and that IV is dangling and you're like, dang, wish I had a piece of tape to secure it. But guess what you have on your fanny pack? The strap right here is going to allow you to put at least, I think you could squeeze about four rolls on here. So that way you still have some movement. So I have two rolls right now of tape. And I mean, when I, when I say it just comes in handy, it comes in handy because there's been many a time where I've had a demented patient that just starts tugging and I'm this close to losing the IV. But guess what's on my fanny pack? The tape. And now I done taped it down and secured it. And I can walk out of the room and feel at ease with my night. You know what I mean? So right here we have this little string like I was showing you from back there that holds tape. You can definitely squeeze on four rolls. I think two to three is the max I would do just because this thing does get heavy on your caboose. Now it has a front pocket right here. Once again, this is the brand Med Basics. So this is where I put my alcohol pads. I do have a few left over in here. So they just slide in nice and easy. They're out of the way. They're not tumbling out of your pocket. It's great. Behind that, you have a pocket. Behind that open pocket, you have a pocket right here. So you can put something in here. If you want to put some more alcohol pads, you can put them here. So behind that pocket is where the pen holes begin to come in. So we have one where the marker is here. I have another one here where I'm placing this pen. There's one right here, which you could probably squeeze in a marker or two pens. And then there's a smaller one over here for another pen, highlighter, whatever you want to put in there. In the front, you have this longer pocket right here, which I like to use this one for like at least two to three flushes. But I just have my marker in here so you guys can see it. So that's what we have going on here. Behind that is two pen holes. I'll show you guys. One, two. Then you scoot over to where this red marker is right here, the Sharpie. And you have another pen hole. This one right here can definitely hold either two big markers or if you want to get real flashy, four pens. Now, I find these right here, let me tell you something. If you're a nurse and you don't have a pair of these, it's time to find them. These little scissors right here, I cannot remember what they're called, but they're basically like a clamp. 
and I cannot live without these. I'll never forget the day I got these and I've had them since because now they be getting cheap and they only have plastic ones on the floor. So my little surgical steel one that I got from the ED, I've been holding on to my girl for a while. Don't have to use her often, but when you need her, she's there. Let me tell you something. One time I had a patient come from surgery and this happens often. You'll have a patient come from surgery. For some reason, the PACU, well not PACU, for some reason the pre-op nurses, like the way they'll do the IVs, they'll put them in and they wouldn't put the extension. They would just directly put the tubing for the fluids at the base of the IV. Like, I don't think y'all understand what I'm talking about. Imagine you start an IV, you get blood return, and the first thing you do, instead of putting an extender, you put the tubing. Why would you do that? That used to happen quite often. Like we had to complain about it because we we're like, listen, this isn't making sense. Because at the end of the day, once my patient starts urinating, 10 out of 10, they're going home the next day. I'm taking their fluids off so that way they don't have to pee all night. Because you know, you're doing a knee, you're getting the back done. You don't want to keep getting up all night. You just got surgery. Relax, PT's gonna be here in the morning, okay? We are here to have a relaxed evening. So as soon as my patients pee, I wanna, you know, INT them. Well, there was one time I had this patient and I tried to disconnect the tubing from her IV and without the extender. I can't stress that enough. There was no extender and it would not come off. Like literally I had like gotten a washcloth. I'm like trying to put traction on it nothing. And the patient had told me they did not want to get stuck again. So I was just going to have to figure it out. Either take out the whole IV with the tubing and leave them be or I would have to save the IV somehow. After struggling for, I mean, we had, I had a male nurse come in, the strength of a thousand males, he couldn't do it, had every nurse try on the floor. So then I called down to, I think I called the ICU and they were like, yeah, there's, do you guys have those clamp scissors? And I was like, no girl, I don't. She said, well, call the, I, the ED and they may be able to tube you one up. Let me tell you something. So I was able to clamp it down, right? and then I was able to twist. And that's what saved me. Ever since then, these have been in here. It's been about two years, okay? I, like I literally don't have to use them often, but when I do, cause those plastic ones, are they're gonna pop and break on you. Next, we're going into this back pocket here. So this is really where you can put a lot of your flushes. And just keep in mind that this strap is gonna come over it some. So in here I have, oh, look at this, my mask holder. This is actually one that my mom made. Shout out to Junebug. If you guys are looking to purchase any of them, you can get them, she is selling them. So just let me know, send me a message on my Facebook page or you can DM me or you can email me, whatever will suit you. So I like to put that here. I also have my handy dandy scissors. You know, if you gotta have these, okay? You gotta have them. I like to put them normally in this pocket. I just have them here because they keep falling out when I put it into my cubby at work. So I just took them out. But yeah, this is the place where I like to put like several flushes. About four or five can fit in here. Now we're going to go to the back and there is a ginormous pocket back here. So that's what that looks like. Right now I just have my excess markers because I didn't have anywhere to put them. So I have my markers and my highlighters so I can update my patient boards. And the best thing about this is that it has a Velcro piece. Right now it won't close because it has too much stuff, but there's a Velcro piece back here and it clamps shut. So if you need to put some things back here, nothing too bulky, honestly, because then you'll feel it. It'll be great. So I'm going to put my fanny pack on to show you guys how I wear her. So you can do her like this. Okay. You can bring her to the front if you want to. I personally love the caboose sachet baby okay because she stays out of my way because when i'm walking and i mean when i'm hitting the unit okay i don't need all of this to be flapping it's too much like you're walking and it's just slapping your thighs it's too much i'd rather hit my butt so this is what she looks like on for me i love it also one of the best features on this thing is that it has a stethoscope holder okay this is my litman classic right yeah, this is just a Litman Classic. If you don't plan on being a cardiac nurse, ICU nurse, she gets the job done. My parents got me this as my congratulations gift of getting into nursing school and I've had my girl since. She hasn't done me wrong, okay? The most affordable one and she gets the job done. 
any hoozles. So there's a pouch. There's a Velcro strap right here. Oh, this is probably why I didn't put the scissors here. Okay, they're going back over here, y'all. But this is the prop. This is what you can do. You have options. So it has this piece right here. And what you can do is I just excuse me while I scream. I hope that you guys enjoy what's in my work fanny pack and how I use it, my little utility belt, how she gets me through. If you have any other specific questions that I may have not answered, then please drop it down below. I will be sure to leave a few links because like I said, I didn't get this one for myself, but I'll find some links that I will personally purchase from on Amazon and eBay and I'll link them down below for you guys. That way you guys can kind of figure it out and I'll try to see what different sizes they have because like I said, maybe you don't need one that's too big. But you just want to hold like your flushes and some alcohol pads. You don't need to do the whole thing. So yeah, I got you guys. I love you so much. I hope that you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.